everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm Justina, creator of Bohemia Magic Studios and today I really want to walk you through a very special kitchen spell that I have prepared for you guys for the Thanksgiving holiday. I'm actually filming this Wednesday, the day before Thanksgiving. I'm gonna try to hopefully get this video uploaded by tomorrow but I'm not sure that's gonna happen. I really want to take tomorrow and just like really be present in the moment and uh, spend it with my husband and my kitty cat and uh, yeah we're just gonna celebrate it a lockdown mode in our house. Uh, we're not doing family this year and I think it's really important to do what you can do to keep those around you safe and uh, I think social distancing is really important at this time now some of you might be celebrating Thanksgiving some of you might not be but this is something that you can do whether you celebrate it or not this is just all about giving thanks and gratitude for all the blessings that you have in your life the more you give gratitude the more abundance you will see in return so I just want to take a brief moment to thank all of my patrons old and new and welcome my newest patrons for the month of November. We have B from the Whimsical Weekend and also Grace Felton. So thank you both so much for joining me on my creative journey. I appreciate it so much and I can't wait for you guys to get your first little batch of new printables. Um, although you do have access to all the other printables that I have in my gallery already. And you guys watching right now, if you're not a patron yet and you want access to all of my printables that are already in my gallery, which for just one dollar you can access all of those on top of the the stuff that I am currently creating and going to be adding to that gallery soon. If you're looking to start a grimoire or a book of shadows or you just want resources and information, if you're new on your spiritual path and new on your little witchy journey and you just want some resources and also a community to converse and discuss your magical way of life with other little witchy poos, my Patreon community has been amazing and I'm just so excited to be able to provide this platform to you guys. So so thank you so much. That's one huge thing that I'm so grateful for this year, the gift of community and being able to share my gifts with you guys. I just feel really blessed to be able to do that this year. So thank you guys so much. Um, you don't even know how much like it means to me. So I have gone and uh, designed a little salt dough goddess and um, I designed this little template. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna bake this little doll out of salt dough. We're gonna make the salt dough today and then I'll show you how I paint it and decorate it and stuff. There is a little spell that goes along with this. I actually designed a spell card for my patrons so you can utilize a little spell that goes along with this craft project. I will however only be posting the spell portion Portion of this project to my $5 tier patrons. They get all the bonus videos. Also going to be offering this up as a printable so all of my $1 and up tier patrons can access the spell in text. But um, in order to see me uh, do the uh, spell and ritual and stuff that will be in video format on my $5 tier. Now also I will be doing printables of this for my $20 magical mail tier where I will actually send you the printed version of the spell card and I will sign it on the back and then I I will also include the template as well in your little magical mail packet. Now this template will also be available on my $1 tier so you could print this out and utilize this while you create your salt dough crafts. Now salt dough is very simple. I've done this on my channel a couple times before. Once was for Litha. I did the sun project and then the second time was mermaid ornaments. So I've done it a couple times but I'm going to do it again today and today we're going to use it to create our little goddess salt dough dolls. So before we get started today I I just want to remind you to comment below, rate this video, please give it a thumbs up if you thought this was helpful, if you like this project, and also give it a share. Share this to your other witchy friends if you like. Yeah, all of those things help my channel immensely. Like you don't even realize, like if there's no comments below, if there's no video likes, YouTube doesn't boost my video in the algorithms, so it's very important. If you like my videos, please do all of those things, and please, if you're watching this video, if you watch any of my videos and you're not subscribed, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and also click the notification bell so you get notified whenever I have a video go up and also recently I've been doing a lot of premieres and live chats so I'm trying to you know get involved and get more in touch with my subscribers so definitely keep a lookout for that in the community tabs I usually post whenever I have a live chat about to happen and I usually do that a couple days to even the day of sometimes it's very impromptu but yeah definitely do what you can to help my videos get bumped up in the YouTube algorithms. I would really appreciate that. So without further ado, we're gonna get started. We're gonna make our salt dough goddess. We're gonna cut out our patterns and then we're gonna create our dough. We're gonna preheat our oven and then once our dough is created, we're gonna place our pattern pieces onto the dough and cut out the dough in the shape 
of the pattern. And then we're gonna assemble everything. We're gonna bake it and then we're gonna let it cool. And then after that, we're gonna paint them and decorate them. And then we'll have it all ready for our goddess gratitude spell. So let's just get started. So this recipe is very simple as it only calls for three ingredients, salt, all-purpose flour, and some water. A few other things you might want to gather before starting this project are a rolling pin, a large mixing bowl, some measuring cups, your Salto Goddess template, and for best results you should print these out on cardstock so it's sturdy enough for handling and coming in contact with your dough. You'll also need some scissors, a butter knife, an X-Acto blade, and a cutting mat. Also, now is a good time to prepare a baking sheet lined with parchment paper or you can use a non-stick silicone baking mat. So here's the template I created for our Salt Dough Gratitude Goddess doll. Get out your scissors and your X-Acto knife so we can begin cutting our shapes. Begin by cutting out all items that have a dotted line. Solid line items are just used to show you the placement of each item on your doll pattern. The first item you should cut out is the figure that will be the base for your doll. All other items you cut out of your dough will be stuck to this piece. Now, cut out the rest of your shapes and start matching them up to their placement marks on your base figure piece. Now my pattern is all cut out and I just placed my pattern pieces on top of the placement sections just to match them up just to make sure I have all of them in place. Now I have to cut out this little section right here which I forgot. So. On a cutting mat, use your X-Acto blade to cut out the armhole of your doll template. Now gather all of your pieces and set them aside while we preheat our oven to 360 degrees. Now it's time to mix our ingredients. In a large mixing bowl, measure out one cup of table salt and two cups of all-purpose flour. Give those a good stir, incorporating both ingredients together. Now start adding your water gradually until your mixture starts to form your dough. I started with 3 quarter cups of water, but it still felt too dry, so I added a bit more. If your dough is too sticky, you can also add more flour to thicken it up a bit more. Keep folding the dough with your hands until you get a nice solid lump of salt dough. This part is completely optional, but if you want to give your salto a little bit more holiday spice and herbal intention, you can create a warm aromatic spice blend. I used about a half to a quarter teaspoon of a variety of different autumnal and wintry spices. So far, I've added cinnamon and ginger, and I'm also adding a mixture of ground and whole cloves, some ground nutmeg, and a fresh sprig of rosemary from my garden for protection and prosperity. Now give this blend a good toss with your hand to charge it with your energy and intention. Let's bring back our bowl of salt dough and add our spice blend, kneading it into the dough carefully as to not cut your hand or stick yourself with a piece of whole clove or rosemary. 
One other thing I like to add to my salt dough is some wild orange essential oil from doTERRA. You can shop essential oils through my affiliate link in the description below. To mix in your oil, use a wooden spoon to incorporate it into your dough, just to be safe and avoid skin irritation. Now that our dough is ready to be rolled out, let's make sure we have a clean surface. This video is not sponsored, I just really love these Myers cleaning sprays as they are free of harsh chemicals or bleaches and filled with essential oils that keep your surfaces smelling fresh and clean. Once your surface is free of spices, fills, and residues, it's time to dirty it up again with a fresh coat of flour. This prevents your dough from sticking to the surface, so it's easier to transfer our salt dough to our baking sheet. Roll out your dough until it is about a quarter to an inch in thickness and get out the pattern pieces that we cut out earlier. Arrange them on your dough, pressing them down and smoothing them out so they stick to the dough just a little bit. This will make it easier to cut your pieces out. Start by cutting out the body of the doll with a butter knife. Now cut out the rest of your smaller pieces and match them up with their proper placement on the body template. Now that all of our pattern pieces are matched up, it's time to transfer our doll to our baking sheet. Flour your spatula to help loosen it off your surface. Once it is placed onto your baking sheet, you can take off your pattern layer and use your template as a guide start placing your dough pieces on their proper location on your doll's body. Once all of your dough pieces are in their correct position, get a small bowl of water and start brushing the underside of each piece. The water acts as a glue so that the dough pieces stick to the base better. Now with a sharp pointed object, you can create swirls, patterns, and textures in your dough to give it a primitive nature vibe. If it doesn't show up too well when you're doing it, that's fine. When you bake it, the dough will rise, making your lines and textures more prominent. Now we're going to pop this into the oven for 15 to 20 minutes. All right, you guys, my salt dough goddess is all ready on its silk pad. I did a little bit of swirlies and leaf patterns with a little pointer tool. This is, I guess, I don't, I don't know, I'm really not sure what this is. It's some kind of scrapbooking tool. It's, it's metal though, but a toothpick will probably be better because it's wood and it doesn't stick to the dough like this kind of was sticking a little bit. So you might want to use a toothpick. I just couldn't find any and I don't know if we have any. So yeah, I just used what I had on hand, but definitely if you have a toothpick, use that instead because this was sticking a little bit. So yeah, I'm just going to pop this in. I have it on my Silpat. You could also use parchment paper, but also I don't feel like messing with that right now uh, I would have to rip it because the sheets are like humongous uh, I, I figured this one was perfect it was already to size so I'm just gonna go with that um, so I'm gonna pop that in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes at about 360 degrees my oven is nice and preheated and then you want to check on it periodically and make sure it doesn't burn and then once we take it out we're gonna let it cool and then we're gonna paint them
All right, so I'm done baking my little salt dough goddess, and she's actually had a few days to harden up. So now I'm just gonna paint her, and I have some gouache paints here. I think I'm gonna stick with some green colors like I have in the illustration. So I have this really pretty viridian color and this uh, pale green color, which I also might mix with some white paint. And these are gouache paints, which are water-based, so um, they're not acrylics, so they don't have plastic in them so they should be a little bit better for the environment should I bury them but you can bury them in a pot you don't have to bury them directly into your garden so you don't have to run the risk of it contaminating your garden if you're worried about the paints breaking down in your soil you can just bury it in a pot and then keep it in your pot um, I also have some glitter paint which might look pretty around the edges so I'm just gonna experiment with some paints and see how everything looks and yeah and I I also lay down some wax paper. You can use this as a palette or you can get your own little palette. So I'm actually probably going to get a small palette as well just so my other paints don't run. And then I also have to get a little jar of water. This is my little helper right here, Boopy. You helping? <laughs> She's usually always on my desk or, you know, whatever I'm doing. Whatever I'm working on, she's always usually right next to me, being my little familiar, helping me with my magical workings. So I have a palette right here. This is all dried up paint. Um, I don't know how successful I'm gonna be at getting that out of there, but um, I'm just gonna put whatever I'm using right on top. Now this is pretty porous, so it might take a few coats to get the paint flowing. Probably not gonna paint the back, it's just a waste of paint, but we'll see. I think I'm gonna start with a water on my brush and I'm gonna do a little lighter green and yellow. Now the more water you add to your brush, the more it'll flow nicely onto your salt dough. I'm going to dry brush some darker green around the sides to give it like a sun washed look.
little bit and now I'm gonna go in with a finer little fine tip brush and I put some white gouache paint down and I'm going to just get in the crevices and start putting in my little details for the leaves and the swirls and stuff. So that is it you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I just want to say one more big happy Thanksgiving and I hope you have a lovely rest of your harvest season. If I don't see you before Yule, um, I hope you're getting all nice and cozy with your hot chocolate. Have fun decorating your uh, tree and gathering your Yule logs. Just making your home nice and cozy for the holiday season. So just a reminder that if you are a patron, you will be receiving a goddess gratitude spell template and printable spell card, two bonus sticker sheets, and a gratitude journal that you can all print out in the comfort of your own home. Or you can go to a Staples or a FedEx store. Or if you don't have access to a printer, and you don't want to go out to get it printed at one of these stores and you would rather get it directly from me with my signatures and a bunch of other little bonus goodies from my studio for the month of November you can sign up for my $20 magical mail tier I will supply you with all of the printables that I created this month for November so that is it you guys harvest blessings blessed be and I will see you guys very soon for some fun Yule projects so stay cozy stay magical Bye. Thank you so much to my patrons for making this content possible. Megan Baker, D. Carubia, Michelle Zeman, Rachel Carter, Alyssa Wilson, Shelly Hitch, Kelsey Wood, Caitlin Morris, Heather Johnson, Jessica Fronrath, Jen Reikley, Anne McLaughlin, Nydia Y. Sprella, Veronica Lopez, Kelly Skelly, Vincent Carubia, Krista Rimmer, Gina Mucci, B. of the Whimsical Weekend, and Grace Felton. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you back here soon. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe.
You can support me on my creative journey at patreon.com slash bohemiamagicstudios.